guys, another week. So it's Monday the 4th of May today and as you can see we're going to be looking at what the ladybird heard and the bad tempered ladybirds. So lots of ladybirds this week. So our first session, session one, I'd like you to watch the clip what the ladybird heard. Now I've put you that link on there. Luckily for us, Mrs Harvey has actually read that book last week and it's actually on the Red Brocade Storytime links. So if you'd like to look at that one, you can watch that one as well. And then what I'd like you to do is to think of the words in that book because there's lots of rhyming words. And I'd like you to write a list of the words that you've heard in the story. So an example is, on the first two lines, it rhymes with hen and pen. And what I'd like you to do then is write down any other words you can think of that rhyme with hen and pen. So if I write down ha, en, hen, and then p, en, hen and pen, can we think of another one that rhymes with hen or pen? So I'm thinking of a number, a number that rhymes with hen, ten. So t, en, and then I'm thinking of, it's not ladies, but it is men. So, ma, en. Oh, I can think of another word. Someone in our classroom has got a name that rhymes with hen. Can we think of it is? It's Ben. So we need a capital letter for that one, because names have capital letters. And can you think of one of our tricky words that rhymes with hen or pen? When. So, wa, en. There we are. So I've done a few of those, and that's called a rhyming string. And we've written lots of more words that rhyme with the ones we were looking at. So your challenge today is can you write as many words as you can that rhyme with the words in the book? Who can write the right longish rhyming strings? So I look forward to seeing that one. Then in session two, after you've had a break, if you've printed this one out, I've got some templates of ladybirds there that they are blank at the moment, but on their leaves there are numbers. And all I want you to do is to put their dots with your pencils. So how many on there? Number nine. So you need to put nine dots. Then we've got the other numbers. And then can you think of which of those numbers here are odd numbers? And odd numbers, if you think of our number blocks, are the ones that add the little sticky up bit. So was number two an odd or an even? It was straight. So it was even, wasn't it? But if it's got a little bit bobbling up, then it's an odd number. So I would think about those and which one of these are odd numbers. And then I've also put, can you double the ladybirds? So if you've done nine, you might need to draw nine more circles. So nine and nine makes 18, and that's our doubling, isn't it? Then the maths um, ICT link is the top marks, ladybird spots. If you'd like to have a little go on that, there's a little bit of counting work on there. Then, once you've had a break, we've got session three. Now in, not that one, in the story, um, what the ladybird heard, their men, they weren't very good men were they, they drew a map of their plans to try and steal the prize cow didn't they and there's a little picture on there but you can see it on the link as well of their map and they wrote some instructions and their instructions were open the gate at the dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right, round the duck pond past the hog, be careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the cow door, sorry, of the prize cow shed. So what I want you to do is to draw your own map. Could it be a map of your garden? Or could it be a map of your downstairs or your upstairs rooms? And then write some instructions for someone in your family to follow, and they need to get to a final destination, which is a place. So if it's in your garden, you might have hid something for them to find and that might be a little X, X marks the spot on your map, doesn't it? So I look forward to seeing how you get on with those guys. And then for your extra activities, if you'd like something else to keep doing, I've put, why don't you go on a ladybird hunt? So it's, it should be warm enough now. I spotted a ladybird in my garden the other day, but it, how many can you find? Where do you find them? How many spots do they have? You want to draw them? 
If you don't find any though, there's a lovely link here from the National Geo Kids and it's all about ladybirds and it tells you lots of lovely facts about ladybirds so you can look at those and then I've put that you might want to make a fact file. What do you learn about ladybirds? And that would be really interesting to read, wouldn't it? There's a lovely story on the back the, um, there as well, the Bad Tempered Ladybird. That's on if you want to read it from the story links. And just before we finish, guys, I'm not sure if you can see these very clearly, but our, late, our caterpillars now are about this big. That's about two and a half centimetres, about one inch at the moment. And there's lots of lovely silky stuff, like web, it's like string. And that's what the caterpillars have built. So when they're sitting, they can actually sit on their with their legs and they hook onto the little silky strands. So it's really interesting at the moment and what they're doing. So I'll keep showing you those because I think by next week they should be in their chrysalide state. Okay, we'll have a lovely day, guys. I hope you enjoy the story, What the Ladybird Heard. And I can't wait to see those maps. Alright, have a good day. Bye.